We're in the main scoring stage of the, of the studio here, the Newman stage, a legendary space. We have just had, I think, the largest orchestra ever recorded in here. Hands Across the World is the closing piece of the films, so we needed a gigantic sound for this and uh, leave the audience with a feeling of uh, completion. Also nice to hear Sean Murphy pulling up a live mix in the, in the control room. I mean, he's the best there is, and I have it really strike you with the large-scale ensemble expertly engineered and tracked. Pretty cool. Musically, just having that much information from an orchestra and a choir all at once, we certainly pushed the physical limitations and boundaries. I would rather do everything all together because you get more of a musical sense. You also get more of a performance. The sound itself is, is huge. I mean, you can, it's massive. I found it rather easy to hear naturally without headphones. It definitely brings visions to my head as I'm, as I'm listening because it's obviously so cinematic. It's all pretty dreamy. It was absolutely beautiful to hear this big orchestra on this song with the timpani and with all the instrument and subtlety, but everything sounds more, I would say, authentic because they are more with the choir at the same time. You know, I have, you know, chills. If the performance is exciting and it matches the film, <laughs> exhilaration. They've conceived these pieces of music and you know they've assembled this team to realize their vision. They know what they want. We wanted to get a really kind of fantastic old nostalgic sort of feel to the music. And uh, more and more themes were written for this piece, multiple melodies and counter melodies within the same moment. And so it required having a bigger than normal orchestra. We are really confident this will work. And we're happy because it really did come out uh, as epic as we would have dreamed it would.